West Africa. Now, according to Euromonitor, Nigeria has the largest online market for clothing and footwear in Africa and is expected to grow from $104 million in 2014 to $1 billion by 2019. Now, some say that that growth should be even more. Rebecca Barnett, Director of Marketing at Mobile Media Infotech, joins me now to discuss how the evolution of payment platforms is supporting that growth. Rebecca, thank you so much for coming in today. So first of all, maybe you can just talk to us about what your company does, Mobile Media Infotech. Give us a sense of how you're contributing to this revolution. Sure. Well, thank you for having me here today. And Mobile Media Infotech, MMIT, is a mobile payment processing company that yeah. partners with financial institutions as well as international brand merchants to provide capabilities in terms of e-commerce payments. So what our platform does is it specifically works with mobile money <clears throat> and mobile wallets as well. Mm. And what we do is we provide consumers within Sub-Saharan Africa the capability to now make purchases on international merchant websites. So this is a very innovative and new technology that has never been seen before. Mm. And this allows consumers to make payments without credit cards or um, bank accounts or other traditional forms of payments on right. e-commerce sites. So, so it's focused on, it's linking mobile money to maybe um, internet platforms. So mm -hmm. with my mobile money uh, wallet, I can, I can buy the stuff on any, any platform globally or how does this work? So essentially with our partnering merchants, um, we allow mobile money wallet providers to sit on their website as a payment option. Right. And this enables the consumers to go on that selected website and they can now process payments with their mobile money wallet. Mm. And um, this is very innovative, especially in the region that we're um, you know, competing in Sub-Saharan Africa, as it is a region that has an abundance of payment challenges. Right. So this solves a lot of those issues surrounding security and fraud and um, payment issues that consumers yeah. have. You know, it certainly sounds like a good idea, but I do still think that the adoption of mobile money is still relatively slow in Nigeria compared to, of course, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Kenya is, is like the superstar in that respect. Of do you think that adoption is going to change over time? Yes, I think definitely in the coming years we're going to see a change in that adoption. And um, what you're also going to mo most likely see is new innovations and new ways to use your mobile wallet, mm. such as what we're doing at MMIT. Because what we do with our payment feature is we go beyond the traditional peer-to-peer -peer transfer or bill pay options or, um, you know, airtime top-up. Yeah. And we're adding a new dimension to the mobile wallet. So right. now we're giving the user more utility and more ways that they can use their mobile wallet. And if you give them that, they have all the more reason to use it more often and to get a mobile wallet but as well. But what about the risk? Um, because Africa mm -hmm. is a risky place to do business. Nigeria in particular, when you look at the history of fraud, especially electronic fraud, um, how much protection can the user of mobile money uh, platforms get uh, with this type of technology? Well, it's actually more secure than you would think. It's more secure than the traditional credit card and um, bank account. You're not putting out your information as you would with those forms of payment. Right. Um, it's less information. You can process transactions with a phone number and a pen. Mm. So it's very um, secure and safe. And obviously, we have rules and regulations and standards that we need to comply with in order to meet those standards of security as well to ensure the users that their information is indeed safe. Right. But how much growth are you expecting in this market, for instance, Nigeria being the largest in mm -hmm. Africa? And uh, mobile money is it's a trend that is going around, but like I said, the adoption is still relatively low. But uh, you obviously invested in this. What are you expecting in terms of growth? Well, right now, um, you know, I think there's 15 million mobile wallet subscribers within Nigeria, and I think we can expect to see that um, skyrocket in the coming years. Um, the thing is, too, that there's a lot of competition in the market. A lot of um, companies that have been um, issued mobile money licenses from the Central Bank of Nigeria is just a matter of, you know, one of those entities taking over and becoming a dominant player within mm. the market. Right. And um, we're extremely excited with our partnership right now with First Money, which is the mobile money service for First Bank of Nigeria. And um, we really think that that's going to be something But is that going to be an exclusive partnership? Are you open to doing this with other providers? Um, yes, but for right now we are with First Bank and we're rolling out in the coming weeks. So we're very excited about this partnership and mm -hmm. the debut to the market. Mm -hmm. um, we feel like it's going to be huge and we're going to take their mobile money wallet subscribers, um, you know, 
we're going to see a big increase in users. Share. Well, it, it certainly sounds quite interesting, especially the point you, you made about it being a lot more secure. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for coming in to share this with us. Thank you so yes. much, um, Rebecca Barnett, Director of Marketing at Mobile Media Infotech.